What's up everybody, it's your homie Castor Troy. I got a really cool pickup for this Sony A7S camera. I was looking for a top handle for it the other day and you know, just to get those kind of low shots, those little skateboard shots and stuff. And I couldn't really find anything I was like digging. So for some reason I just decided to look at cages and I stumbled upon this Motion 9 Cube Alpha for A7S. And the handle on this thing is nasty. It's what sold me on this and when I saw like a couple of videos that the company provided on this uh, on this cage I was like dang it made the Sony a7s look so mean it just it looked so good it made me want to accessorize this beautiful camera so uh, yeah this thing is awesome uh, let me unbox it for you and I'm gonna put it on the camera so you can see what it looks like and all that good stuff but yeah it just comes in this little box right here little box and they're a company from Korea and as far as I know, the only place you can order this from is from the company in Korea. You, could, you might be able to find it on eBay, but I ordered it directly from the company and it only took maybe five days to arrive in the United States. So it didn't, it was not bad at all. The shipping, I can't remember, the shipping was maybe, I don't know, 20 bucks or something. It wasn't that bad. And uh, so yeah, this cage, I think it retails for a little under 300 and I wanted to get, they sell some hot shoe mounts that you can, you know, put all over the cage because, you know, if you want to put like a microphone, you want to put an external recorder, a shogun on there, all that good stuff, you're going to need some hot shoe mounts. And I bought two of them and they, oops, I bought two of them and they gave me one for free. So that was really nice of them because they're originally, I think, 10 or 15 bucks each. So that was awesome of them. Very appreciated. Absolutely. Very appreciative appreciative is that right yeah very appreciative of that so this is the cage right here everything comes nicely bagged and everything and what is really nice and what sets this cage apart from any other cage is this wooden handle grip right here as you can see you just grip the heck out of it check that out nice wooden grip with the motion 9 logo embossed in it real wood hardwood cool stuff and here is the handle, the thing that sold me on this cage in the first place. This handle's bad. It's not one of them L-shaped handles that everybody has. Look at this thing, bam. I mean, this is like, this is like brass knuckle grip right there. You just wanna, yeah, it's awesome, beautiful handle. So just to let you guys know, if you are interested in getting this cage, the cage, there's multiple pictures. Some pictures on the website have it with this handle and some pictures on the website have it with the L-shaped handle. The L-shaped handle comes with this unit standard, okay? Um, if you want this handle, which I would definitely recommend this handle instead, just contact Motion 9 and tell them you want this handle instead of the L-shaped handle and they'll ship this handle with the unit. That's what I did because I wasn't buying the cage without this handle. This thing is awesome. And let's see what else is in here. It comes with all the toolings that you need, you know, little Allen wrenches and stuff. And this right here, something that I probably will never use because I'd like to keep my cameras and everything as small as possible um, is the uh, it's like the cable grip or whatever it is. The cable, what do you call this thing? It's the cable manager or just, I don't know. You attach it to here and it, make, it sticks out like this and it basically protects your cables from, you know, getting pulled out of your camera. Uh, it's, it's, it, all this stuff is like really made well and it's heavy. I just probably won't use this because it's going to make the cage, you know, about this big. So I want to keep it like really, really small. But uh, it does come with the little cable thingy majiggy that I know the name of, but I can't think of the name of it right now because I pretty much just woke up and blah, 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 all that good stuff. So anyways, um, yeah, let me show you this thing real quick too. This is a little thumb grip that it comes with little thumb grip right here and you just screw it screw it onto the back and it kind of gives you a little stabilization for like your hand so when you're holding the cage you can see how it's like uniform to you know grip your hand so that's really cool you know I definitely dig that will I be using that probably not because I want to keep this camera as sleek as possible 
But uh, yeah, let me show you guys how to uh, put this thing together. It's really, really easy. It doesn't take long at all. Uh, the first thing you want to do is, it comes with this little tiny bracket. And what this little bracket is, it is a, um, oh, let me see what's going on here. Okay. <laughs> what this little bracket is, uh, it's the lens release button. And um, as you guys know, if you have a cage, you sometimes can't access the lens release button. So this is the lens release button. So let's just, uh, you just put it in here. Just like that. Oh, go in there. Fits in there good like that. That's all you got. And then you just put your camera in. What And what I like to do is, I'm not a fan of these little uh, strap lock thingies right here. It's too bad you can't take them off. So I like to keep them facing the top. It seems to give, uh, I don't know, it just seems to give the most room in this cage. So I just actually put it in upside down. So these little strappy dudes cooperate with me. Come on, buddy, get in there. You yeah, have no problem. Get in there, buddy. There we go, just like that. Now you're in. Perfect. Perfect. Only took freaking three hours. Oh, where's the little thing? There we go. So then there's just uh, right on the bottom here, pretty much where you're gonna mount your stuff to a tripod and everything. You just, whoop, put a little screw in there. Got your little Allen wrenchy. Screw it in. Nice and snug. Bam, just like that. We got it in the cage. Pretty easy, pretty easy. Even the cameraman could do it. Okay, now just to put this handle on here. And the one thing about this handle is it does obstruct your hot shoe mount that's on the a7s itself so hence buying the other hot shoes to mount on the cage which isn't a big deal to me i mean with a handle this awesome i can handle that so let's see where do we put this guy on here you can put it anywhere you want really i'm gonna put it toward the, i don't know where am i gonna put this thing let's put it at the second hole that works a lot of mounting positions on this cage. Definitely like that. Get this guy on there. Come on, come on. And it does come with an instruction manual, but I don't think you'll need it. Good. Bam. Just like that. Just like that. Look at that thing. This is nasty. This cage is nasty. Look at this thing. With that handle. That's a mean looking camera. I mean, that's mean looking. That's mean. Yeah. So it is pretty. Freaking nice. Yeah, and you just got the little lens release button there. Works like a charm. Um, I don't really know what else to say about this. But if you're looking for a cage, this thing is freaking bad. It's a bad cage. Look at this thing. I'm just gonna show it to you guys for another minute because it makes your camera look so bad. Yeah, it's awesome. Just that sleek freaking murdered out black on there mm, looks good but yeah this handle is a winner for sure this is a winner yeah i don't even know what else to say awesome cage um if you guys have any questions at all hit me up in a comment i'd be happy to answer it for you and yeah that's it a7s the a7s cage from motion 9 i will catch you guys later peace